So this is my video demo of my YouTube script to demonstrate YouTube working pretty fast and easily on the Raspberry Pi without using XBMC or GNash. So if you try GNash, it's pretty much just unworkable. And XBMC is good, but it also has its flaws, and it's pretty heavy, and it's kind of slow. It's not as fast as it could be. So I wrote this, and the premises is pretty easily. And the advantage is it's command line, so you can put it in pretty much anything and, and use it for a lot of other things. So I'm currently working on a nice little GUI for it, but as of now, it's it's only command line option. It's pretty fast. Um, so I've got a text file here with some links, and I'm going to try out that. So it's just a YouTube command right now. And I'm going to try this first link here. And you can open these in a web browser or however you want to do it. And I'll paste it and run it. And it'll take a second or two. It's going to strip the file, uh, the video file from YouTube, and then stream it to Home X Player. One loves the idea of parallel universes. Maybe it's the appeal of an ideal world where you have second chances and things turn out differently. An alternate reality where you do get into Hogwarts and the Star Wars prequels aren't made and you finally plug in your asymmetric computer cord correctly on the first. So you see there it, uh, I, and I quit it there with the escape key with OMX player. You see it's, it, it only takes about 10 seconds or so to load. And the script will also automatically handle uh, lists and other websites as well. So I've got a, uh, yeah, you have to put these guys in quotes here. Uh, I always forget that the list is important that it has to be in quotes because that ampersand sign there. So if I shift and insert. So now let's try that. So it recognizes you see that it's a YouTube playlist. And it's going to go through and strip each playlist in individually. So there's the first video. It's also worth noting that it's taking the highest quality of every one of these from YouTube. So it's uh, it it streams 1080p from YouTube, and and unless traffic on YouTube is really bad, it it buffers really really well. It's in fact I use it rather than the YouTube website because the YouTube website's pretty awful recently. And I can Control C to quit here. And so I can also play other websites like The Daily Show and some other things with this. And The Daily Show, if you know, uh, comes in four parts. So when you uh, strip the video from that, it comes in four parts. So the four parts, it's got the commercials in between. So with this, it, it just grabs those four parts and gets rid of the commercials. So I'll show you the beginning of those and skip through those real quick. So see, it says one out of four there. So this one's just grabbing the newest day, daily show as of this posting. So it's going to go through and, and it does all four at once, so it, it knows them. It's pretty quick. So you don't have to wait between the blocks, which is really nice. And I'm just quitting through these real quick. So the other thing about this is, and, and I started this to to start the GUI, and I'm using curl and a couple other things with C++ to uh, make a, like a nice little YouTube, almost like a website looks, but you click on it and play it on Max player and be really fast. So if I tab this, I'll get all the different commands. So I've got YouTube downloader. I've got a fast version of YouTube downloader, which uses Axel, and I've got this YouTube search guy. So you use the YouTube command when you want, uh, when you know the URL, but say you don't know the URL and you are just searching uh, you can just type whatever you want. It doesn't matter if there's spaces or anything. You just type it. It's going to search it, finds the first, uh, the most relevant link, then runs it to the YouTube command, and in a couple seconds here, we should have the YouTube video playing. And there we go. And this is in 1080p, and you can see it streams really, really well. And you can pause it. And other stuff with OMX player, you can do the normal things. You can't skip forward or back backwards, unfortunately, but you can do a lot of stuff. And that's how that works. And the nice thing is, like I said about this, is that you can use it with all your other things. So I have voice command on mine, so I can 
voice command here, give it a continuous flag. Pi. YouTube easy way out. And it's going to search for that YouTube video, and it's going to do the same thing we just did, and we didn't have to even have to type anything at all. And so that's the nice thing about this. You can build it into any other system and pretty much do whatever you uh, want with it. And so I'll let you guys know when I release my GUI for it. And that's all.